schools back, but phones aren't. At least that's the case in more than 40 public high schools across South Australia this term, including this one behind me. It's all part of a new policy by the state government to start putting a full ban on phones during school hours. It is my firm view that mobile phones do not have a place in the classroom or in schools. You might know this isn't a totally new concept. In 2020, Victoria became the first state to bring in a full phone ban at all public primary and high schools. I know that it won't be universally popular, but in my view, it's the right thing to do. And phones are already banned in most primary schools around Australia. The idea is to stop students getting distracted by TikTok or texting and to stop online bullying and harassment, at least during school hours. So how do you get everyone to put these down all day every school day. Well, there are a few options, like making students turn their phones off or put them on silent and in lockers or bags. Or there are these. OK, Josh, so what is this? So this is the new phone policy we have in our school. It's a phone pouch. So every morning we have to put our phones in here. So you open this and may I take your phone, please? Yeah, will I get it back? Yes, we'll <laughs> get it back at the end of the day. At the end of the day? OK. And your phone slips in like that. You press down and it's now locked until the end of the day where you go back to the station where this lock is kept inside a box, which is also locked, which prevents kids during recess and lunch to go and open up their phones and use it whilst they're not supposed to. And now you have your phone. I got it back early. Yeah. So are teachers going around and checking this throughout the day? We have daily checks where teachers come in to check and feel in the pouches to see if your phones are in there and to see if it's locked or not. This high school is one of a handful that chose to pay tens of thousands of dollars for these little lockable phone bags for every student. Starting school again this term was the first time any of these students had used them. Have you seen anyone try to get these open? Probably yes. pretty, yes? <laughs> Many people have tried, but I haven't seen anyone succeed to open these just yet. So it works. Yes. No, I've seen many people irritated with, I think I'm like the only one who isn't irritated by it. A lot of people are quite frustrated that it obvious they can't trust us with our phones. We're so reliant upon our devices, it's going to be hard to adjust. But give it some time and hopefully that'll be a good detox. It's not just phones either. In some schools, the rules also apply to any personal devices that connect to the internet or phone networks, like smartwatches and tablets, even earbuds. But not devices provided by a school or approved for schoolwork. Of course, like most policies, there are exceptions. Like for students that need their devices for medical reasons, as support for disabilities or learning difficulties, or to translate English if it isn't their first language. Although some students reckon there should be other exceptions. One part that um, I would like to see change maybe is uh, the earbuds. Uh, I find that when I study, I study uh, um, best with uh, music. Our parents don't really know English really well and they use the phones to communicate with us. Like what if there's an emergency or something and you need to call home and you can't and like it's a private matter and you don't want to go and talk to the school about it. Education is the responsibility of each state and territory, which means they can have different rules and regulations. In South Australia, like most other states and territories, it's been up to individual schools to decide how to manage phone use and that's still the case for non-government schools. Most have policies or recommend high schoolers turn their phones off and put them away, at least during class. But that can be hard for teachers to monitor. So Amani, what's your school's phone policy at the moment? Yeah, so at the moment we have to put our phones in our lockers at the start of the day and get them out at the end of the day, but we can check them at recess and lunch. But by the end of Term 2, all public high schools in SA will have to do the full phone ban. That will definitely, I think, be a huge change for all students. We've become de dependent on our phones. That will be a bit of a detox for us. I guess that brings us back to the reasons. In the past few years, there have been times when violent fights during or after school have been filmed on phones and put on people's social media. There have also been plenty of reports of bullying and harassment online, including students taking photos of other students at school and sharing them without their permission. Personally, I've actually been cyberbullied at school. Like, photos have been taken of me and, like, posted, you know, like, around Snapchat and social, like, media platforms. When people go home, they can still 
do the same thing, so it's not really going to change much. It does do something to reduce the bullying, and it does do something to reduce the perpetuation of hate. But I believe it doesn't target the root problem. Everybody's just resorting to traditional bullying. That's what they're going to do if they really wanted to bully. They're going to do it to someone's face. Like for the people who get bullied at school and then also have it at home, it's like there's no escape. So I feel like it'll be really good to be able to have the no phone policy so that those things at least can't happen from school. And then there's still that whole distraction thing. Oh, oh sorry. Can I get this? One sec. Hi, Mum. Yeah. No, it's all good. I'm just filming. It's fine. I feel more motivated to do my work now because last year I did get a bit distracted with using my phone in class. Personally, I think this is a really good idea for, um, to roll out across high schools. There's already been so much more socialisation between myself and my friends. The biggest win for students is that we get an eight, an eight hour period where we're all off our phones and we have these real face-to-face -face conversations.